dribble. Denny with two on the shot clock. Hits nothing but net. Denny Ambia with a 38-point performance. Here's Denny all alone. 41 points for Denny Ambia. A decent player on a hot streak or the emergence of Washington's best asset? Just how good is Denny Avdia? And his ability to elevate. Strong move by Avdia, counted in one. The NBA is constantly on the lookout for big wing forward types who can knock down shots, defend at a reasonable level, and play with the ball in their hands. This perfectly describes this season's version of Denny Avdia. Drafted as a big wing with a guard skill set and triple-double archetype, Denny was quite slow to develop on his swing skill, which was his scoring. When comparing Denny alongside others who play a similar position and are of similar size, we can see that he has similar counting stats. What separates Denny from those with a higher fantasy rank is of course improved scoring. This is the last step that Denny needs to really unlock a great 9 category fantasy game. However, this season he has taken a big jump in scoring. Yes, he has been shooting at unsustainable levels lately, which helps but there have been changes to the Wizards' offense that is much better suited to Denny's game. The Wizards lead the league in pace, which has allowed Denny to use his speed and size to get downhill and attack the basket as well as open up passing lanes. A recent hot streak of three-point shooting and scoring has really shown us what Denny is capable of when adding points to an already good fantasy stat set. Denny has unlocked an aggressive slashing game thanks to improved three-point shooting. His first step is quick enough to blow by a lot of players, and lately he has been absorbing contact at the rim like it is nothing. Some of the NBA's biggest bodies are bouncing off of Denny when he attacks the rim. In terms of fantasy, Denny is not an amazing stocks contributor and should be labeled as below average or average at best. Denny's defensive value more translates to real-life NBA instead of fantasy basketball. He's an excellent on-ball defender who is very quick and light on his feet despite being 6'9". He offers good defense without being a negative on offense such as a Jaden McDaniels. Denny is able to soak up usage to produce points or be a good catch and shoot target at the three-point line, something of which should be noted in his improvements this season. On top of this, he is offering a positive assist to turnover ratio, so no one needs to worry about Denny when he needs to dribble or make a pass, unlike some other 3 and D wings. <laughs> Denny has improved pretty much across the board this season compared to last season, which makes him worthwhile as a dynasty asset. His dynasty rank will undoubtedly rise in our March update, and I am very curious to see how high he moves. Hopefully you bought him before the 43 point performance, because that game surely spread the word a bit on Denny's talents. But these positive changes were beginning to show a bit before the 43 point game. However, some aspects of his performance since late January are not going to stick moving forward. Although Denny has greatly improved his 3-point percentage, he is not going to be a 56% 3-point shooter, nor will he be a 59% shooter from the field, which is more like the field goal percentage of a rim-running center. It must be noted that Kyle Kuzma was not playing during Avdia's 43-point game, but this time last year, I don't think anyone would have thought Denny is capable of a 30-point performance, let alone a 40-point performance, which does show a very positive level of development for Avdia this season. So what do you think about Denny Avdia's dynasty outlook? Let us know in the comments below. Also be sure to let us know who you would like to see covered in the next dynasty outlook video. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to smash that like button. If you would like to see more videos like this one, then please subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you later. Bye.